Yo, what's up? I'm Zach. Welcome back to my channel of Ruby Mythology. Today we're going to watch and react the second episode of Season 2 of Ruby Flaming Skull titled To Find My Own Way. And before I continue on, link of the video will be down below the description box to go see the video for so. Full screen when I have my commentary, go support the official release. And if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more Ruby content. That shows it means a lot to me that you guys want to see more Ruby content on this channel. And I am hyped for this, and I'm glad I thought I finally caught up from when I reacted the first uh, first episode of Season 2. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. I did remember correctly that, uh, the... Oh, that, uh... I did remember correctly that the voice actor does Blake in this series was sick, so that's why I was heard of. You leaving? I thought about it. I was actually coming to say goodbye. Just to me? How sweet. Well... You are the only one still awake. Things are that bad with Eric and Rosie? I just... Yeah, that bad. ...need to go away for a while. It might help them cool off. Where are you going? Home. I suppose it won't change your mind if I said that I like having you around? Now who's the one being sweet? You're only a <laughs> third of my favorite team. I have to be wow. sweet. <laughs> Wait, who's your second? It hers. Blake's gone too, huh? She left a couple hours ago. Me and my big mouth, right? You hate her for what happened? I know it was an accident, but I just wish she had faith in me. If by some miracle you run into her, can you tell her I'm sorry? I'd come with you, but I just screw it up. I think she'll want to hear it from you anyway, but I'll send her the message if I see her. You don't have to hide. Rosie? Why are you leaving? Eric doesn't want me around. I don't think you do either. That's not true. He thinks I'm a coward. Maybe he's right. You're not a coward. There are things about me you don't know, Rosie. If you did, you'd think the same thing. I don't care about that. We need you. We need our leader. I'm not a leader. I wasn't there to help you and Eric. I wasn't... You lost your semblance and Shadow is... I don't blame you for what happened to Shadow. His death hurt us all. Rosie. I need you. And Eric needs you too. As much as he does How do you guys do not know? that night I still don't remember. All I can remember is fighting Cinder and Ruby using some kind of power to... But Cinder said something to me while we were fighting. I can hear her voice, but not her words. Maybe if you're here with us, I can remember. I've made up my mind. 
I'll see you again soon. All right. God damn, man. I'm trying to get comfortable over here. You need to set your bitch ass down. Well, here we go. Whoa! The train for Atlas will be leaving shortly. Damn, forgot how big this place was. Dude, if you have a trouble, you should have just asked someone, hey, you know where this at? Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. No, no, Wait a minute! It's fine. I'm just all left feet. Is that? Let me help you up. Thanks for the... That's Cinder's so sister! You're close. They're Elysian, right? Oh, yeah. It's 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 been a while since I came here. I'm I'm a bit lost. It's okay. I know the feeling. Come on, I'll take you to the train. I'm Vera, by the way. Anton. Wait. Nice to meet you, Anton. Who? Huh? Pretty good one, if I do say so myself. Hold on, let me go back. What, what was her name again? All left feet today. Let me help you up. Thanks for the. So, are you headed for Atlas? Huh? You're close. They're at Lysium, right? Oh, yeah. It's 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 been a while since I came here. I'm I'm a bit lost. It's okay. I know the feeling. Come on, I'll take you to the train. I'm Vera, by the way. Anton. Nice to meet you, Anton. You're a huntress. A pretty good one, if I do say so myself. What's bringing you? To I Atlas? gotta see the credits. My weapons need some fixing. Poor things got hit hard during an attack, and have them in the same. I am sorry. All the way to Al What was that again? Did he say? I'm Anton. sorry. Nice to meet you, Anton. You're a huntress. A pretty good one, if I do say so myself. What's bringing you to Atlas? My weapons need some fixing. Poor things got hit hard. Yo, what? And have them in the same. Un You're going all the way to Damn. Atlas to fix your weapons. I'll go as far as I can to keep my friends safe. I see. And what about you? What's bringing you to Atlas? Oh, um... Home. I... Just need to take some time off. Oh, I hear that. Home really helps when you need to clear your head. Especially now. Things are getting crazy out there. I don't know what to make of it all. Me neither. Especially what happened at Beacon. A massive grim attack. Iron with dead? It's hard to believe it got hit like that. Maybe Shadow was right. Maybe he should have been our leader. Yeesh. Oh, uh, you okay? Yeah, it, it's... it's I, I was... I was there when it happened. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories. It, it's okay. Just, just thinking about it gets me a, a little bit rattled, that's all. 
Well, if there's one thing I don't want people feeling, it's rattled. Oh, just made it. Yeah, thanks. Not for you, I would have missed the train. Then maybe it's a good thing we met. Hey, do you mind if I sit with you? It's a long trip, and I could use someone to talk to. Sure. It'd be nice to have company. Who wouldn't want to talk to the son of Delia Newland? Wait. What? Oh. I'm sorry. What? I, I'm lost. Like, they... Again. The gift I will give to you once you give me your full confidence will only help. But if you fight your destiny much longer, you will die a painful death. I... Tell me, is this a game to you? No. Speak up! No. This is not a game. Then what is holding you back? Oh. The people that you consider are friends. Nothing. To nothing? You haven't shown me yourself at full power for quite some time. And you say nothing is stopping you from achieving such heights? How do you honestly expect me to believe that? I can do this. Just give me another chance. Another chance? Yes. Master. Very well. We will continue this tomorrow. For now, get some rest. I have something more dire to attend to. Damn, this merely collapsed. Oh shit, they're sleeping together? Where? I do not want to think. We really need to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Obviously, you passed out from exhaustion. Mercury found you lying on the floor and brought you here. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Just a few cuts and prints. Nothing I haven't had before. I doubt that, but I won't cry today. Why does she push me like that? She only does so with the best of intentions. If she didn't, I wouldn't be sitting here before you as the fall maiden. <laughs> What's so funny? I think it's cute that the fall of maiden is mine. I think it's cute that you think I'm yours. Ooh. And I hope you succeed. Give Salem every reason to grant you her power. I'll try harder tomorrow. Just for you. I want to be stronger. To prove my devotion to you. Now that's something you never have to prove. Really? Am I interrupting anything? You're always interrupting something. Sorry to disappoint this romantic moment, but you've been summoned. Already? Already. Let's not keep her waiting much longer. See you later. Heal up. Will be fulfilled. But I'll 
weeds to hide I need for my true purpose. Oh boy. Cinder, you have come so far, yet have such a long journey ahead of you. What I ask of you now is simple. When Shadow is at full strength and has been granted my gift, you must wear him down. What? Why? You'll unlock your greatest power, and his. This is crucial. Your gift from me will be awarded to you soon after. It will complement the power you have spent so long cultivating. Of course. I understand. I knew you would. Emerald and Mercury will aid you in this quest for power. They too have their own paths to fulfill. There is one more thing I must ask of you. Tell Shadow nothing of this conversation. In order for this to succeed, he must remain unaware. Or else the pieces will fail to fall into place. I understand. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Is that? Oh, it's Blake. I thought he left already. I'm about to. Where to? Why do you care? You don't know me. Because you're Yang Zen of Rupi's friend. I don't feel like a friend right now. I'm going to Menagerie. To see your family. You know where my family lives? Kid, I've traveled the world more times than you can imagine. And I had my share run runways with the White Fang. Of course, I know where the Belladonnas live. If you know where I live, then you would know that I'm the only Belladonna left. I know. Besides, I'm not part of the White Fang. Not anymore. Relax. It wasn't meant to be Dreth. I know that you have fine father figure, and the White Fang is now less than a shadow of its former self. But, I have to ask, if you want to go so bad, why haven't you gone already? Because... I wasn't sure. Yang... She has her moments where she says things she doesn't mean. It may not seem like it now, but she wants you to stay. I want to believe that. Then why don't you? Because of her voice. The way she spoke to me. I've heard it many times before, and I'm tired of hearing it. Got her some lax, Guido. She lost an arm. That's a big deal. She should cut some of that slack for me, too. I might not have lost an arm, but I lost something that day. We all did. It doesn't change the fact that she's being unfair to me. She's alienating me. It's called grief, kid. Don't talk to me about grief. I'm just saying that we have to give her, like everyone else, room to cope. Like you and you're drinking? Good, because that solves everything. Thank you so much for your valuable input. Oz, I miss you, old friend. Stay well, wherever you are. Oh boy, my boy Oscar! I don't. I don't do. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm trying to.
I think that's the name up top. Yeah, that's pretty much heart. Okay, I just want to make sure. I didn't hear her name well, because I don't know why. But for those people who want to, how the hell do I know that? That Anton met her, and that is Cinder's sister. Well, um, Knight just posted the image of her on his community tab. And, yeah, post the image of what she looks like. So, basically, that's what, uh, that's what I said. And there's another post before that of a new type of grim of, for the series. In my theory, that probably be Shadow's transformation. Or just a new grim in general. I don't know. But, Eric, you need to shut the fuck up, man. And, eesh. oh my god, and I feel like Anton is having that, um, having that, um, that time, like, blame himself for everything, that all that weight that he has. And Shadow, the only way he can unlock, the only way he could unlock his full potential is to just let things go. But the, the only thing that's holding him back is the people that he cared. He still cared, but he's just now. It's just fucked up. There's no turning back now. People believe that he's dead, which is stupid because Rosie does not remember what Cinder said, which is kind of stupid. Anton, he knows Shadow's alive, but that, that, and he didn't tell them. Like, Anton. You should have just told them that Shadow is alive, that you saw him, and he attacked you. You should have said it, but no, you say, yeah, but, but Shadow is dead. And I feel like he was going to bring it up, but Rosie cut him off. Oh my god. It's so... Oh my god. But, yeah... Honestly, I don't know what to say. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Link in the video will be down below in the description box. Go see the video myself. Links to my other channels, my social media, my Discord server. All that will be down below in the description box. You guys all drill. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Ruby is love. Ruby is life. Keep moving forward. And I'll see you guys later.